So, you want to make an infinite background in Blender? Well, that's great for you because I have infinite possibilities for you. Just like Aladdin, except for, you know, he couldn't bring someone back from the dead. And he can't make someone fall in love. Pretty much, I have, I have limitless possibilities, but like, limited. You know what I mean? Hey guys, I'm by Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.9. And uh, we'll be taking a look at how to do this little infinite background thing that I did in a previous video. My heater's on right now because it's actually really cold uh, in my apartment. So, we're just we're going to ignore that. I don't even know if you can hear it. But listen, if you do, pretty much what I'm saying is I don't care. I'm cold. Leave me alone. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of the uh, default cube today just because we don't really need him for this demonstration. I'm also going to get rid of our camera, delete, and then uh, we're going we're gonna to keep our lamp. So... Uh, with my highly customized blender, by the way, from one of the previous videos we just did. Uh, hit Shift A, and we're going to add in a plane, and then S to scale this bad boy up. It's going to have to scale it up quite a bit, because I forgot my thing's really big now. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we're just going to do that. Looks pretty good. Uh, so we have a plane, but now we need it. We need like a, uh, a sphere. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Shift A, and we're going to add in, that's right, a uh, UV sphere. You can also go with an icosphere and subdivide it, but I'm going to go for the UV sphere and we're going to hit S and we're just going to scale this bad boy on up about like that big. So I don't want it to go. So you see how this is like going over top of it. I want it to completely be inside of the plane. So just make sure it's inside the plane. Now, when we zoom into the plane here, you can see into the sphere here, you can see they have a kind of like this dome effect, which is really super cool. So what we're going to do after we've done that is we're going to go ahead and go to rendered viewport shading real quick. I'm going to grab our lamp and we're going to move our lamp into the um, into the sphere. So just hit G to move this around um, or you can just hit Alt G to clear the, 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 the location and then just hit G Z to move it up. I'm um, going to just zoom right back into our sphere. You can see it's all super bright right now. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our lamp and turn the brightness down to 10 instead of 1,000. Um, and as you can see, we pretty much have that that infinite background thing going on here. But what I want to do is it's not big enough. So I'm going to go ahead and hit S, uh, select both, hold down shift, hold down, hold down shift and grab both our plane and our sphere. And now you can see uh, what we need to do now is we need to actually go ahead and grab our sphere and add a subdivision surface modifier to it. So we'll go ahead and add that. So now it's a little bit smoother. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and go to, up to Object, Shade Smooth. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna grab both our plane, uh, our plane first, and grab this material, the material tab. Just give it a nice material, nice color. I'm gonna turn specular off, turn roughness all the way down. And then we're gonna go ahead and change the base color to like something like, I don't know, like uh, purple, I guess. And then we'll select our circle our sphere, sorry, and then we'll give it the same exact material. And as you can see, when we do that, we now have an infinite looking background, which just looks really, really cool. Uh, this is the way I always do it. It just looks really good. You can do the same thing um, if you use like a spot lamp. As you can see, it looks uh, it looks very infinite now as well. Uh, if I turn my overlays off, you can see it looks completely infinite, but really it is just a sphere. Um, so that's pretty much how I do it. it. It's really, really cool. So you can put anything inside of this. So we can grab Suzanne. Move her up, scale it up a little bit. And as you can see, it looks like Suzanne is now in an infinite environment, which is just the coolest, like I said. So, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. It's that simple. It really is that easy to get a really cool effect. You can also just change the colors around, any different color. Um, that blue teal just looked really cool. All right. There we go. Like I said, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial. I will see you in the next one. Uh, but until then, bye-bye.